So over the last probably about 12 hours, I've received a lot of requests to talk about uh, this particular subject, but I'm going to keep it short and simple and brief. And the TLDR right now for me is that uh, my friend Richard Hogue over at Hogue Law covers this stuff from a legal perspective. And uh, I'm going to include a link to the video that he just finished uploading. I kind of waited for his video to go up because I think it's going to be more important to understand all the nuance uh, that's essentially in the allegations in the, in the lawsuit uh, against Activision Blizzard. And I, you know, and y'all have asked me to weigh in on it, but I've been hesitant to do so uh, because there's just a lot of stuff in this uh, that makes my stomach turn. Uh, I'm not the biggest Activision Blizzard fan. I hesitate saying Blizzard in this case, um, but I'm just kind of putting this out here because you guys keep asking me for it, and hopefully this will put uh, it to bed. Chris and I did not uh, talk about it specifically over at Work to Game. We touched on it, uh, namely um, because. Uh, I think Chris will feel like he has to default into a defense of Activision Blizzard because that's the kind of personality he has, where in my sense of it, like there's just a lot of stuff that uh, makes me angry and um, it makes me frustrated. And I really want uh, hopefully justice to be served in this case, but that's where it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. And again, link to uh, Richard's video um, below uh, at the core of it. Uh, you know, like I've seen these kind of cultures uh, form um, I think essentially what we're seeing within uh, the kind of the culture now uh, surrounding uh, WoW and Blizzard and um, the biggest shifts that are happening across the gaming landscape right now, um, this isn't really a victory about what is going on with Activision Blizzard in this lawsuit, um, but it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. And hopefully, again, like I said, uh, justice will be served. The, um, the core takeaway that I want to give you guys is that... Um, I think as a society, as people, we could hopefully do a better job that says when the money's good and good times are flowing, that we can still hold ourselves to accountable. I think the reason why you end up seeing a lot more people speak out about events like this and, you know, like catastrophes and tragedies and, um, you know, like, I guess, I don't know, I have the right word right now. Um, but when we see that, it's like you're kind of going against you're the kind of the killer of the fun or you're you're hurting everybody so just remain quiet and just kind of be a part of the team kind of mindset we see this happen a lot um within all kinds of industries video game industries uh the industry isn't uh, immune to that uh, and then when things turn when things are looking bad when things are going wrong uh it's safer to come out and say that and we've seen that happen across the industry within just gaming culture uh, when PlayStation was top of the world, it was hard to kind of call them out on their BS because you'd have an army of people ready to defend them um, without without any hesitance. We see this in the same thing on the Xbox and, and more. Um, that kind of tribalism uh, tends to protect uh, kind of monsters. And I think when we're reading some of these allegations and reading through this, it was hard um, to do so. Uh, we want somebody to hold accountable. We want somebody to be named. And, um, and I think maybe we'll see that happen, but obviously at the end of the day, we're just going to have to see how this plays out in the long run and, uh, continue to kind of follow the story itself. I, t oh my God, um, I try to keep this, uh, channel generally very positive and, um, we're going to keep it obviously gaming focused. Activision Blizzard is a gaming piece of it, but I, I really didn't want to talk about it. Um, but hopefully this kind of puts it to, to rest, you know, at least where I'm, where I'm at, um, you know, kind of personally speaking. I, I feel for people who are definitely in the camp of Activism Blizzard. I think that, um, you know, I want truth among all everything to kind of be the, the guiding force and the principle uh, that we strive for. Um, but reading what was said, uh, especially certain things, really uh, hurt me as a human being. And I, uh, God, um, it's just gross. Um, yeah. That's going to be it. That's going to leave it at uh, at that. And there's just obviously a lot of information flowing. Uh, go watch Richard's video. Um, I'm going to be kind of like I'm checking in with it. It's a long video. It's an hour and a half. Um, keep this short, sweet. Um, thanks, guys. Sorry um, that this is the way it is. And uh, yeah, that's, that's just where I'm at. And hopefully, if you guys are curious, that answers your question. And if you weren't curious, thanks for still being here, I guess. And um, just be good to each other. Um, be good to one another. Uh, protect one another, defend one another, um, speak out against like, you know, like just blatant stuff and, and don't be worried about, uh, I guess it's really hard to say that. Cause it's like, sometimes you're like, I got to feed my family. I got to feed my kids. Like I, I can't speak up, you know, I got to be quiet. And that kind of mindset isn't really good for the company in the long run. Eventually all this stuff comes to light. Light is the best disinfectant when it comes to all this kind of BS. And, um, yeah, guys, 
I, I'm sorry to put some bummer into your feed today, but I'm going to get back to some other cool stuff for you guys here really soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.